I'm Kim Stafford, and this is my story. From as early as I can remember, I was raised in, in the church. The seed was planted very early about who God was, and from VBS to um, Bible studies at my house, um, we, were, we were definitely raised with a Christ-like atmosphere. But when my mom passed away at 14, I got really angry with God. I started to fill my, my time and my mind with everything that I could to distract myself. Distractions turn into addictions and before I knew it I was drinking all the time and I had gotten pretty heavily into drugs. Um, started really mild and turned out to be something I had a really hard time getting away from. Um, and it wasn't until really that nudging that had always been there really came forward and I found myself at a church where a woman said to me, are you going to allow the sin of your past to overshadow the grace of God? Are you really going to allow the sin of your past to become an idol? Do you think it's too big for God to cover? And up until that point, I had been living so deep in the shame that I had about the things I had done that I came face to face with who God was and what he had done for me. And I had to question if his blood could cover all of me. And I realized it was. It was strong enough and powerful enough and his love was great enough to even cover the depths of the sin that I was too ashamed to talk about. I gave my life to Christ. I rededicated myself to him and it hasn't been easy or perfect. But every time I try to pick back up that shame and that doubt, I go right back to the cross, the cross where he sacrificed it all for me, where the blood was shed to make me as white as snow. It's definitely been a prodigal story for me of redemption, but I am so thankful that he was knocking at my door time and time again, just waiting for me to accept his love and salvation. I'm Kim Stafford, and that's my story.